Studio One in Walt Disney Studios Park is going to be closing very soon and one of my least favorite Disneyland Paris restaurants is actually in there so I thought I would go and give the restaurant one last chance before it closes for good. Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. Now as you can see I'm in Disneyland Paris today, currently standing in front of Studio One in Walt Disney Studios Park which very soon is going to be changing into a different name. Disney Adventure World, all of that to come in my next vlog, I believe. But Studio One has been an iconic entrance to Walt Disney Studios Park since the park opened in 2002, and I've got quite a lot of memories in there. It includes quite a lot of shops, some dining, and the dining is actually what we're going to be focusing on today because one of my least favorite quick service restaurants, in fact, I would go as far as saying probably my least favorite restaurant in the entirety of Disneyland Paris is situated in Studio One in Walt Disney Studios Park. And because it's going to be closing very, very soon, I feel like I want to give it one last chance. And actually, they have a farewell menu, a special menu for its final day so let's go and check it out there you go the beautiful studio one at Walt Disney Studios Park and you can see that logo of Mickey Mouse holding a camera all to do with the original theming of this park when it first opened in 2002 as I mentioned and you can see they've already walled up the sides of the studio one and very soon it's all going to be under renovation so let's head inside studio one and have a quick final look at this entrance that we've all walked through if we visited this park over the past 20 years or so look at that it's very hollywoody you've got the brown derby over here and unfortunately it's not the same brown derby restaurant that they have in hollywood studios in florida it's just a facade really it's actually the facade to the quick service restaurant here which we're going to be going to restaurant on coolies and yeah there you go that's the menu menu clap de fin 20 euros you can see it over here i believe it's some kind of a raclette burger and interestingly it comes with a side of popcorn which is rather random let's have a look on the other side so they sell things like burgers and fish burgers and chicken burgers and chicken nuggets it's extremely basic food which i think is definitely one of the reasons why i don't enjoy this restaurant because there's so many better and you know more interesting choices that you can make for your food when you visit Disneyland Paris. And I do enjoy that they still play some kind of movie themed music inside Studio One. It's probably one of the few things in this park that reminds me of what this park used to be because honestly over the past 15, 20 years, the theming of this park has become so different to what the original vision was for this park. Behind the scenes, movie magic, things like that has been long forgotten and is now more about immersiveness, different lands, different franchises, different Disney films, Marvel, etc. So it's very different, but I do like the music that they play sometimes. It's lovely. Anyway, this is the menu that we're going to be trying today. As I mentioned earlier, this is meant to be a special menu for the final few weeks of this restaurant operating in Walt Disney Studios Park. And it says here is the beef burger, rackler cheese, crispy bacon, lettuce, burger sauce with a sweet popcorn bag. So yeah, you do get a popcorn on the side, extremely random. But I guess it makes sense because of the movie theme. Actually, I, I, I don't know why the penny only dropped just now for me. It makes total sense now why the popcorn's there. It is worth noting though that even though Restaurant Onkelis as well as Studio One will be closing very, very soon for a long renovation process, I'm thinking minimum a year, this whole area will still exist. It's just going to have extremely different theming. And when I say extremely different theming, perhaps I should actually say a little bit of a different theming. It's still going to have a little bit of a movie vibe. It's almost going to be like a premiere situation where you're walking through the different Disney films that, you know, are going to be premiered. And then once you go to the end of this area, you're going to go to a different land. So I feel like it's going to have a similar look, just hopefully a lot better. And it's going to be a lot more in theme as well with the current situation of the park and restaurant on Coolies as well. It might be closing, but we are going to get another restaurant instead of it inside this same existing building. With that being said, though, let's actually enter restaurant on Coolies. And uh, it's pretty busy. This is a very popular restaurant and honestly has been since it opened. I mean, again, it's basic food. Most people do like burgers and chicken nuggets and all that stuff. So it does make sense. They do have mobile ordering though, which I probably should have used, but I feel like let's do the full experience and queue old school style. Why not? So it's probably only been about 10 minutes so far and I have already ordered, as you can see the menu here, the Clap de Fin menu. Well, I went for a bottle of water and I got my annual pass discount, three euros off, came to about 17 euros. But it's so busy right now that normally when you get your receipt, you would just go and collect your food. However, most of the people in front of me are also just waiting for their food they've ordered, but they've been told to just wait around until their food gets prepared. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Merci. Well, we've got our food and it took under 20 minutes actually, because obviously considering the time it took me to get up as well, because I have come 
to the upstairs area of Restaurant Uncle's. It's probably my favorite area to sit in because especially downstairs tends to get very, very busy. Most people don't even realize that you can just come up the stairs and sit upstairs if you wish to. And I think the atmosphere is nicer. You get a better view. And it really does feel like a studio, like a behind the scenes studio here with the different set pieces they have going on, the music. Oh, I'm excited for this food though. Okay, well, the burger is definitely the most exciting part of this. I do find it interesting that they've got a 30th anniversary wrapping. This is has the 30th celebration, which have definitely ended. So they didn't really bother making a special <laughs> wrapping for it, but I guess it makes sense. I mean, the restaurant is literally closing in like two weeks. Let's have a look at the burger now. The bread looks fairly interesting. The actual burger doesn't necessarily feel the best. It actually feels rather light and a little bit messy, but uh, Besides, you've got the special burger sauce, the raclette cheese should be somewhere. Oh my god, it's falling apart. Yeah, the cheese will be on the bottom. I'm just going to take a bite out of it before it gets any messier. So far, from my first bite, I can't say it's bad. I'm tasting the raclette cheese quite a lot and I do love raclette cheese, so that alone, I think, is elevating the burger flavour. Honestly, it's not bad. I'd actually go as far as saying it's probably one of the better burgers I've had at this restaurant. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think I would get it again, even if I could, but I can't because this restaurant is closing. But I'm happy with the meal. I think it's a decent burger. And like I said, the back of the cheese definitely makes it better. Well, my food was pretty good. I've still got a little bag of popcorn left though, and it's sweet popcorn too, which is not particularly my favorite. I do prefer salted popcorn, but I'm gonna take this with me anyway and maybe eat it later on when I'm queuing for something. Before we head back down though, I thought I'd show you a little bit more of the views that you can get from the top uh, level of this restaurant, Restaurant En Coulis. Look, you've got Aladdin's carpet over there. Again, it's all about different set pieces, you know? It's like it's a studio and there's, uh, you know, they're making movies. Down there you can see different caricatures of, I'm guessing, celebrities. So, again, all about movie making, famous actors, etc. But before we leave Studio One and of course Restaurant Uncle's where we were just at, I wanted to show you a little bit more of Studio One as well, just to have a last quick glance at everything that they have here. So, when you first walk into Studio One, on your left, you're first gonna be seeing a Pandora shop, Hollywood Jewel Box is what it's called and they've got different park exclusive Pandora charms and other Disney Pandora charms so yeah that's the first thing you see and then we get to this main big long shop which has almost everything that you'd need it's very similar to the Emporium in the main park in Disneyland Park so you've got your plushes here the theming is excellent look at that again it's all about being in a movie making a movie so you've got different set pieces and it's very grand as well the ceilings are very grand yes yeah, some of the merchandise available here right now i've i've spent so many times and days in this shop it's definitely one of my favorite shops to come to if i'm looking to buy a present for somebody or if i'm looking for the latest spirit jersey for instance things like that you can normally find in this shop they have all your standard mickey and mini ears over here some more plushes even marvel which actually wasn't a thing when the studios park first opened but now they have a whole entire section dedicated to a marvel and again the theming is what i enjoy look at that so cool got california idaho texas different states in the u.s and their plates again an old school car up there just casually chilling always look up no matter where you are in Disneyland Paris, whether you're in a shop. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Always make sure to look everywhere around you because you'll be noticing so many cool details. Like this old looking telephone here. Look at that. I've been in a shop countless times since it opened and yet this is honestly my first time seeing this. I wonder if it, can you pick it up? No, you can't pick it up. But that's cool. All local calls, five minutes, 10 C, please ring operator before depositing coin. That is so cool and again goes so well with the old theming of this park. Coming out of the shop now and you can see over there to my left is where you would go to leave Studio One. So the entrance was all the way on the right and that would be where you would go out of and this store literally goes across the entirety of Studio One. And uh, yeah, again, a random car here, please do not cross. It's a really nice poster spot actually, loads of people take their photos here. I remember in my early years of coming here, it was always one of the places that I liked taking a photo, but it's been a long, long time since I've taken a picture with this beautiful red car. Up there again, we've got a little camera, old school Panavision camera, which is so cool, and a director's chair as well. Look at that, they actually had a director's chair up 
the other day again make sure you subscribe because there will be a fun video coming from uh, this uh, event that I went to last night so yeah all of these set pieces and cameras and directors share and lights and everything really makes you feel like you've come into a studio which is obviously Walt Disney Studio so honestly studio one still makes sense if the rest of the park didn't exist if it was just this and the name of the park and the main entrance of it when you first come in then I'd be on board but obviously once you come out that's when it becomes a little bit problematic now here we've got the Tiki Tiki which is not the Tiki rooms and unfortunately it's just one of the other facades of a restaurant Ancoulis where we just ate restaurant Ancoulis as you would have seen is also very big it almost takes the majority of uh, studio one on the other side and yeah that's more or less it I mean I enjoy that they've got trees here as well high ceiling it kind of does feel a little bit like the Main Street USA of Walt Disney Studios Park one other thing you can do here inside studio one is have your face painted and I'm very interested to see what they're going to do with the face paint situation once they close this up for renovation. Here you go, here are some of the designs you can get here, face painting maquillage, so I guess this is meant to be like an Elsa-esque thing, perhaps Sienna, a tiger, maybe Tigger, Spider-Man and they are 17 euros, you have to be above the age of three to get it done and yeah there's an artist that just does it here for you oh yeah I guess I should point out the Hepcat corner as well over here which currently has quite a bit of a queue and it's generally quite popular actually because it's one of the few places in the studios park where you can get snacks so not like table service not quick service but just things like cookies or sometimes I have Mickey Benieri's ice creams drinks etc and yeah here's one final look at studio one inside Walt Disney Studios Park since the park opened back in 2002 I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I do enjoy it. I think they've done a good job with it. But again, like most good things, sometimes things do have to change and I am so excited to see what Disney does with this. Before we end this vlog though, I think it might be a good idea to also do a little character meet because Goofy meets at the entrance of Walt Disney Studios Park and he's dressed as a director. He's got a unique outfit that you don't really get anywhere else in any other Disney park. And Honestly, I have met him before, but I don't often stop to meet him. But because they might take him away as well, or he might change his outfit once this park changes into its new theme, obviously Disney Adventure World, he may no longer be meeting in his director outfit. So his queue's not looking too long, and I feel like I haven't seen the guy in a while. So let's go and say hi to him. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, you're so cute. What are you directing? You're directing a film, aren't you? A movie about yourself? Oh, okay, about the park. But you should be the star of it as well as being a director. You should, you should be doing everything. <laughs> oh, Goofy, you look amazing. I love it. I love your outfit. Yeah, filmmaking at its best. Number one. I know it's Donald normally, but I think I think it's you. Everyone here knows that you're my favorite. <laughs> you're my favorite, Goofy. Oh, thank you so much. You're amazing. Thank you. Should we get some photos? Thank you. We'll do a collab on the next movie. Yeah, we should do that. We should do that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Goofy. You've messed up my hair a little bit, but I don't mind because you're the best. <laughs> See ya. Bye. I'll be I'll be sure to watch a movie. Oh, oh no, that Goofy. Set, is that the set designer? Ah. Oh. Yeah, we, we need to tell the set designer maybe. You need to be safe always, Goofy. <laughs> Bye. With that being said, that we have now come to the end of this vlog, and I guess the end of me ever entering Walt Disney Studio Studio One to go into the park here. That's a very strange concept, right? Like I'm finding a way to even visualize this park with this not existing. I mean, as I mentioned, it will come back after about a year and a bit, just with a different theming. I'm not sure what they're gonna do to the outside area. Obviously, it's no longer gonna say Walt Disney Studios. I imagine they're gonna have a different thing on it, whether it's just the name of the park or something else, I really don't know. The inside will definitely be changed and I'm gonna put some concept out so you guys can see what to expect for when this project is finished. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, both about the name change for this park and also just Studio One changing and the theming of it inside. What are your thoughts on this? Are you sad? Are you excited? I think it makes sense, to be fair, based on all the attractions and lands that have been built in this park over the past 20 years, I wanna say. It really was only the first few years of this park opening where this park had the theming that it was originally meant to have, in my opinion. And then with the addition of Tower of Terror, and then of course, uh, Remy, Ratatouille Land, Toy Story Plane, and all of that, it slowly but surely started to change as a theme and so I think it makes sense and I want this park to have a cohesive theme and I think 
by changing the name and changing the theming of Studio One, everything will become a lot more logical, I guess is the word I'm looking for. It's going to make a lot more sense to, you know, have a different theming uh, in Studio One and at the entrance of the park so that it makes, you know, sense with what we have in the rest of the park. But I would really love to hear your thoughts. So please do leave comments down below. I'm going to read all of them. And yeah, how are you feeling about it as well? Because like I said, I'm a little bit sad just because of all the memories that I've had in Studio One and in this park uh, when it was called Walt Disney Studios. But at the same time, I'm very excited. I think I'm mainly excited. It just feels weird. It's a big thing, you know, changing the name of the park that has been around since 2002 and also changing like the main interest of it. A lot's going to be changed. And actually, by the time all the projects are done for the next few years for this park, this park is going to look 90% different to what it looked like on its original opening day in March 2002. That is amazingly crazy. So yeah, I look forward to reading your comments. Please make sure you subscribe to see more of my videos coming up very, very soon. And also follow me on Instagram if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.